From Pinocchio, Alberta, this is Luke Butterfield on Copper Mountain. Wait For now. Luke Butterfield, there's nothing like a perfect saddle bronc ride. The professional rodeo cowboy says the lifestyle runs in his family. I got into rodeo, just grew up on a ranch, and my dad rodeoed, and all his cousins and brother, and my grandfather and his two brothers rodeoed, so I was never pushed into rodeo, but once I got older and done playing hockey, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. Butterfield says he tried out a couple of different rodeo events before finding his niche with saddle bronc riding. I come from a family of steer wrestlers. Everybody steer wrestled, but I wasn't, I guess, blessed with the size. I mean, you can st I still steer wrestle, but I was actually fascinated with uh, bareback riding. And my dad rode bareback horse a little bit, and he was always trying to push me to the bronc riding. If he was going to ride a bucking horse, you know, he thought it was a lot easier on you. And I actually went to and got on one bareback horse and broke my thumb. So that was the end of my bareback riding career. I'm glad it worked out the way it did. I love riding Bronx. I think when it works, it's nothing. Nothing feels better, and when you watch other guys ride and they're in time, it's like dance, you know. The saddle bronc rider has many awards and accolades under his belt, but says winning the 2012 Canadian Champion Saddle Bronc Rider is one of his proudest accomplishments. Winning the Canadian Championship was a huge uh, deal for me. I've always, I remember going to the CFR in Edmonton since I've been a little kid and dreamt of that. Like, and I have dedicated, I dedicated my life to it. And uh, that was a huge, huge weight off the shoulders when I won the Canadian Championship. Butterfield has traveled across North America to compete and says there are some misconceptions he hopes to break about the rodeo scene. I think a lot of misconceptions about rodeo is it's still the, back in the old days, partying, and all that stuff and it's just wild and but it's a it's a job like yeah don't don't get me wrong we'll have fun you know and might go out but there are a lot of nights where you're driving all night and then you get in the you ride get in the truck you drive all night again the seven-time canadian finals rodeo qualifier says his advice for anyone wanting to break into the rodeo scene would be to go to a school, especially for livestock event training. For Go, I'm Fallon Wagner.